This video is going to be about home screen customization on a Lexmark multifunction device from the control panel. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, I have the remote operator panel up, which is uh, showing me the home screen of the Lexmark device. Uh, and what we're talking about is actually moving these icons, either removing them um, or moving them around. Um, and actually, when you remove them, it automatically reconfigures the screen. So uh, if you want to um, remove one of these, there's really two places from the control panel you have access to to adjust the, the setup of this icons on this home screen. You just go down to the little um, system settings here. You click on that. And the first place you can go to uh, adjust that would be under settings in general settings and then you want to scroll down here to home screen customization which is right here so just click on that and now you notice you can here you have all the different uh, options over here uh, copy shortcuts copy fax um, FTP FTP shortcuts these are all the icons uh, that are standard to the device that can come up on the screen. So for instance, I can uh, take the search jobs and not display it, not display the held jobs, and when I submit that, and then I go back to the home screen, and now you notice it adjusted my icons and those uh, two icons are gone. So, um, that is one place. Now another place um, you can adjust the home screen, which is back in security, where this actually disables the functionality. So then um, the home screen customization won't even work. In other words, even if you toggle that to be on, the security will override that. And I'll show you where you would do that. A couple reasons you would use, go into the security area to do this is um, if you have SMTP or email, uh, icon by default comes on the screen if the email servers not set up that'll give you an error and then you um, until you actually disable it back here in security settings it will it will it will you can uncheck the box and home screen customization but it'll still tell you the SMTP server isn't set up so if you disable it back in um, security here where I'm at now it will actually turn off that message too so if I edit, well, I waited too long. If I click on this, um, too long-winded there. Go to security, go to edit security setups, and edit access controls. Uh, now you can actually turn each feature on and off. So if you look at um, all the different, you just scroll down here until you get to um, and of course, you can add a lot more security on things besides just the apps on the home screen. But if you click on down here, um, here's like the email function. If I put security on this and I disable it, then when I submit, or the fax function, that's another function right below there that you might want to do, um, is the fax function because if the if if it's not using the fax um, and you turn the fax off in the um, home screen customization, the button will disappear, but it'll still flash a red light uh, for an error because the fax line is not plugged in. So that would uh, back in here in the security settings would be where you would want to go to change that. So now I'll go back to the home screen. And now uh, we have no scan to email anymore, but yet uh, if we go back, uh, or no fax button, but yet if we go back into our regular settings, general settings, um, and we go scroll down a couple pages here to home screen customization, we'll notice that um, the fax uh, email let's go down here 
uh, email. Let's go ahead and display that. I thought I already had that displayed, but if I submit that, if you remember, I just uh, disabled it back in the security settings. Now if I go back to the home screen, even though I enabled it, the fax, the email, excuse me, the email icon still doesn't come up here. So, um, and you notice down here, even though the fax button's off, I still has fax station not set up, contact administrator, in, administrator. So if I click on this, and I go back into my security settings, and I edit my security setups again, access controls, scroll down a few pages to my fax setup, copy function fax. So if I go ahead and then I disable this, now when I go back to the home screen, you're going to notice I'm not going to get that message anymore. So when I go back to the home screen, now I just get my trays are empty. I don't get a message about the fax not being set up anymore. So I uh, hope that was informative to you and thank you for viewing.